design at the speed of creative thought with advanced shape creation to rapidly conceptualize your ideas. Subdivision modeling lets you develop distinctively unique products based on organic shapes without the need for expert knowledge. The Solid Edge subdivision modeling environment generates a stylized body using a polygonal cage to control its shape. By continuously manipulating and subdividing the cage, you can add greater levels of detail and control until you have the shape you desire. These black seams are the result of Solid Edge creating NURB surfaces in the background. You would typically create these by hand and keeping them tangent manually can take a significant amount of time. But with subdivision modeling, we have automated results in just a matter of minutes. Subdivision modeling provides a higher level of control than using polygons alone. It allows sharp edges in conjunction with smooth flowing surfaces. Using simple operations such as lift and blend or push-pull techniques get the desired result. Often parts need to be designed symmetrically. With solid edge subdivision modeling this is easy. Just define the symmetry plane then when edits are made to one side of the subdivision cage, they are automatically reflected on the opposite side. We can see this at work as we define the shape of the left side handle grip. Using the steering wheel to manipulate the cage as needed, the right side of the cage adjusts automatically. With our part starting to take shape, a simple move face operation creates the geometry we need for the notch in the top of the part. Solid Edge Subdivision Modeling keeps track of the values at each edge and vertex of the cage, as well as tracking the edges that have been blended. Next, we need to create a handle. This can be started with another primitive, which can be sized and moved into place. The handle can then be formed with a few simple lift and rotate operations. During each lift operation, the number of segments can be changed, giving us more control over the final shape of the handle. Grips can be easily added to the handle by lifting the faces and defining appropriate blend values. Subdivision modeling has allowed us to make a great start on this design, but importantly, it is also fully integrated with traditional solid and surface modeling techniques. We can use an existing surface to split the subdivision geometry, then thicken the result to create the raised portion of the handle. Toggling the visibility off we can see how it matches our concept sketches. Adding a few more features and refining the shape of our model results in the finished design we see here. Subdivision modeling in Solid Edge removes design barriers, letting you model as you want without compromise, opening a whole new way to create distinctive products. To learn more about Solid Edge, visit solidedge.siemens.com.